Hi YouTube, how are you doing? Uh, welcome back to Wholesome Horror Gaming. Today we're going to be playing Unsorted VHS by Mike Kubnika. Famous at the moment for Buckshot Roulette, but we played through a number of their games recently and we can definitely see some, some special numbers in there. So I am really excited to see what this developer comes up with next. Uh, so without further ado and without wasting any of your time, let's find out what Unsorted VHS is all about. You wake up hanging from a ceiling. A box of VHS tapes sits in front of you. Press space. You pick up a tape. It softly quivers in your hand, the label reminding you of a distant memory. Suddenly, you hear a strange voice. Play the tapes. Find out how you got here. Remember, everything is interlinked. Don't you remember? Eject tapes at any time with G. G for get me the fuck out of here. Okay, so I can't move, but I do have, is there adjust mouse speed? Fantastic. So I have a box of VHS tape. Ooh, that one's got blood on it. Ooh. We'll start from the beginning. Oh God, I love, I love found footage stuff. I really do. What's this? F to inspect tape. Uh, Mountain View Primary School. Have I played the game Fears to Fathom and the episode of that with the title Nordwood Hitchhike? No, not yet. The Fears to Fathom games are probably going to be the next run of games we go through, so citizen. I did say that. I'll be honest. I'm going to hold my hands up here. I'm going to put myself on big head mode and everything. I will hold my hands up here and say that I did say that before playing through Mike Kublinka's uh, back catalogue, but... I thought we'd get through all of these in one stream, um, and I honestly thought that I'd want to play the Fears of Fathom games over a number of streams. So watch this space. That's definitely coming. Also, there's a new long play coming as well for a certain fish-based horror game. There you go. That's all you get. That's all you get out of me. Now you got to figure it out for yourself, right? Uh, Mountain View Primary School. Let's go. Don't forget as well. Oh, God, that's loud. Don't forget as well, there is exclamation mark suggest. If you have any uh, games you want to suggest, there's a form you can fill in. It's just basically saying how long do you think it is and what games are. Or if you know any games that you think I might enjoy, just stick them in chat. I'm at the point where I'm not even close to big enough to worry about loads of chat messages at the minute. This is, uh, oh, this is reminiscent of Building 71 Incident. I really enjoyed that game. Shush. Anything? Oh, there's something over there. My school did not look like this. My school was significantly more like UK middle school. Uh, Alice, do you want to go play at the cabins after school again? It's so fun. I just realized that you don't poof to the cabins that are already open. This will change the game of tag forever. I just realized that you don't poof to the cabins that are already open. Okay. Do I go into the void? No, apparently I don't. Okay, is there a... Is it a back and forth thing? Oh, it'll be a puzzle thing, won't it? Gee... Yeah, okay. Uh, so I, I'll need to do things in different tapes to unlock things in different tapes, most likely. The Looker. It's talking about Uline chat. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. What is that? This, is, this has got some City 17 vibes going on right now. This is some Half-Life 2 shit. Uh, I can't crouch and I can't run either, which uh, concerns me slightly. I, I do like the the film grain filter, though. That's one of the first times... I'm just looking at it on stream now. It's one of the first times I've actually liked that. Normally they can be a bit much, but this, this one seems all right. Basement. 
sealed. Front door? Is that a door? That looks like a door. No, that's also locked. Uh, can I just leave? Is that a thing I can do? I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything in this one either. <laughs> this, feel, this feels like our wilds. No, okay, let's explore the next tape. I wonder, sometimes with, with games like this, with like... Um, sort of chop and changey puzzle games. I sometimes wonder if I'm missing something, like if I'm just being a bit dumb. Uh, but sometimes I'm, sometimes I am, and sometimes I'm not. It depends on the game dev. Uh, cabin anomaly investor briefing. What? Actually says VHS on it, which I'm quite impressed at. Authorized reproduction distribution of material is illegal. Criminal offense. <laughs> The nature of the anomaly, teleportation, instantaneous travel between two locations without crossing the intervening space. Oh, am I going to come out of that other cabin? Okay, okay, cool. Magic cabins, got it. Magic cabins. Uh, number two, the unmarked location, a branch of the cabin anomaly. One of the six cabins seems to be missing. It is unknown how to enter it as none of the cabins lead to it. See the symbol, a precisely traced symbol in the center of the cabins. The material is extraterrestrial. One part of the symbol leads to the unmarked location. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. This concludes the investor briefing. Me, would you like to invest in space? <laughs> we've discovered space teleportation. Oh, I actually have to exit that. Okay. Sign up today for your space teleportation program. One symbol will take you to one of the five cabins with only a small chance of going to the sixth cabin, which is obviously in hell. Go that way. Uh, grab this one. What's this one say? Security room. Ooh. This is going to be like an I'm on observation duty style stuff. Oh. You're a hundred percent sure that was Makujin from Tekken. Nope, just me. Oh, a helicopter. Hello. Wait, is there something burning? Or is that water? It might be water. Hello. Where are you going? Come back. God damn it. Is there something in here? Insert disc. I can't. It's, it appears to be very neatly cut in two. Floppy disks don't normally get oh hello, cut in two that neatly. Oh, that's the cabin we were at. Okay, okay. So front door go diagonal, and then it's past the tree. Got it. So something is there. It's a fucking shotgun. What else can I have? Oh, there's a dude. Oh. <laughs> it's literally, literally a corpse. Un understood. Ah, oh, hello. What's an answer? A desk. A desk. <laughs> the disc floppy noise. <laughs> uh, index. Status lockdown. Index 10001. Status lockdown. Enter access code to enter to retrieve override key. Uh, no. I don't have the access code. Can I open any of these? Do these have ones in them? What's this? That looks like a something. I don't think that is a something. Can I close these, please? Can I close this one, too? What's in the bottom? Nothing. And there doesn't appear to be any... Thingy, but I've not. I've got a new. I've got a new thing now, which is good. We know. We know what to do with the looker. 
with the locker cabin. So we'll go put that back. Go to the locker. I don't want to really look at the bloodstain tape right now. I'll be honest with you. We're gonna we're eventually gonna look at it anyway, but I don't want to look at it right this second. Uh, right, so front door. And then over here, was it? Yeah, it was over here. Is it this rock? Is it literally where I start? <laughs> Aha! A key. Come on, I know you've got no knees, but you can definitely... Oh, it's going to be for their basement, isn't it? And they've got no knees, but you can definitely like shuffle walk faster than that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, it's very dark in here. And there's rocks. And I'm not sure what else. Jesus! Holy fucking shit. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, fair enough. That, yeah. Oh, fuck me. Oh, look, a flashlight. Oh, excellent. Now everything is ten times worse. Undeveloped Bruce, how you doing? It's good to see you. Just to, yeah, just join. Don't spook me. Oh, yeah, sorry. That's actually probably the first jump scare as well. It must have been waiting for you. Where did you come from? You came out of a hole in the wall. Holy fuck, man. Holy fuck. Uh, is this a spook? Is this a, this is a terminal? Right click to zoom. Oh, there's a blood there's a blood trail there. There's a terminal. There's Oh I don't oh, I wonder. Do we go bought a carousel of two hundred chupper chups? Best choice. Nice. That is an excellent choice, Bruce. Excellent choice. Uh oh. Got it, there we go. Uh right. Uh George. From Alfred to George. Good old George. I'm sending this to you from the looker in the hope that it does not find me here. Put the cabin anomaly on full lockdown. Hell, if I were you, I'd put the pulse sonar down. Uh, the high level security access code is 4142. Write this down, write this down. I know this is coming out of nowhere, but I'm not the one authorized for this. And I, you have to trust me. I'll try and make my way to you. 4142. Got it. Right, so now do I... Do I leave? Is that the... Do I need... Wait, where do I need the code? I needed it on the other one, didn't I? 4142. All right, let's have a look at the bloodstained one. The cabin anomaly. God. This is obviously going to be horrifically scary. Clench your butts. It's very dark. Oh, I don't have a flashlight anymore. What is this? Uh. <laughs> that fucking exploded. <laughs> uh, security room. Sure, let's go here. <laughs> yes, go. Put the security room tape in. Holy shit. Uh, right, yeah, yep. Yeah, we've got the chopper coming overhead. That's good. We've got the disc. Uh, insert the disc. 4142? Come on. Uh, use numbers. Use number keys. We've got 4142. Overriding lockdown. Yeah! Wait! Does that wait? Do I want to do that? Oh no! Oh no! What have I done? Oh God! What have I done? Shit! <laughs> Is that gonna be this? Oh, it is. It is this? The Scepter Foundation. Bring your kid to work day. Oh, I can't zoom in. Oh, hello. This reminds me very much of Phasmo at the minute. Uh, pardon? D 
Did a did a ghost with a keychain just walk through? Can I pay any of these? Nope. Any mobile phones left in the tray? Nope. All right, let's let's go in what is definitely not going to be a haunted corridor. Definitely not going to be a haunted corridor. I can't open this. Oh god, oh god, the door's open now. Lovely. Yes. Right. What? It, what? What? <laughs> Timothy, I keep telling you not to fuck around with the doors. No. Okay. Cool. Um. So there's nothing I can do here. Oh no! Wait, this is open now. What's this key for? What was locked? Is it one of these doors? No. Observa observatory. I read that immediately as observation duty. I never read the word observatory without... A bug on the floor. Without reading observation duty now. Beep boop. Anything behind the door? No. Other than me. Oh, wow. Oh, excellent. This is the cabins. So unmarked, uh, unmarked location. Five, ten equals big number. Possible combinations. Oh, wow. So many possible combinations. Lots of maths. Like, lots of maths. That's a an eye-watering amount of numbers right there. Can't open any of these. Can I turn this on? Yes. Oh, it's here. This is the the actual place. Got it. Right, well, let's, let's go have a poke. Let's go do... Oh, that's, that lift is open now. Jesus, that's a fast lift. <laughs> that's less of a lift, more of a plummet. What's this? Please be aware the following guidelines when working with the cabin anomaly. One, do not under any circumstances leave objects inside any of the cabins. This can cause fatal injuries upon teleportation. Two, close the cabin doors upon exiting them. This is to maintain the interior of the cabins. Failure to do so may damage the integrity of the anomaly. Three, employees must conduct teleportation research one at a time. See guideline one. Failure to follow these guidelines will result in contract termination and probably fucking death. Let's go fuck around and find out. Right, so this is the symbol, isn't it? So I don't know where we where we built that, but that was supposed to be there. That one's flickering. Oh, hang on. Was there not something on that whiteboard about numbers? I think there might have been something on the whiteboard. Did this go back up? Nope. No, it doesn't. <laughs> right. So if I go in number one, can I knock this over? No. Come on. on my cats. Uh, this leads me to number two. Okay. And now if I go to... What the fuck was that? There's a tree. It's fine. It's a tree. <laughs> I thought there was like a fucking Bigfoot stood there. So if I go into number two, it leads me to number one. So one goes to two and two goes to one. This is three. This is three. This is some definitely out of wild stuff. And then three goes to two, right? <laughs> write this down, write this down. <laughs> Rock. Uh, there's a big 
cable there? Do I need to follow this cable at all? I hope I don't. I can't see shit. No, I don't. If they just needed somewhere to put it, but me being me, I'm like, they clearly meant, meant, for, me, what that, meant for me to go that way. This is four. <laughs> and I'm in three. So, oh wait. I keep forgetting to shut the doors, don't I? God. I am, I am dicking around with sciences and things I do not understand. Close the doors. Um. I like this. I like that they've, they've got like this weird anomaly and they're, like, they're trying to catalog it and study it. And there's something about that that makes me feel like you know, if we were, if this sort of stuff really existed, we'd try and do that. I mean, we'd fail fucking miserably, but we'd try and do that. We'd try and be like, oh, you're a, a zombie. Like, we'd try and categorize like, zombies and vampires and stuff like that. And that leads to one again. Right. And then one. Do I just need to keep going in and out of them? One leads to two. What if I just blatantly disregard the rules? And I just leave all the doors open. <laughs> what if I do that? Huh? What happens then? Actually, actually nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I, I would kill for a sprint button right now. I'm not going to lie. Just open all the doors. Release all of the anomalous energy. Why is that flickering? That makes, that makes me more nervous than the teleportation bit, to be honest with you. Can I do something with this? This looks like it's interactable, but it's not. Okay. And then let's go in here, and then let's just, let's just time hop. All the doors are open. <gasps> oh! I found a pocket dimension. <sighs> That's so cool. I found cabin six, guys. All you need to do is disregard the orders of the people around you. Can I fall off this? I cannot, no. I might be able to, I'm not. I think I can. I'm not gonna try. It's I just... <gasps> the fucking cabin's gone! It is like Outer Wilds. It's a thingy. It's a... Oh, what's it called? Uh, quantum moon. It's a quantum thing. Right, what is this? Uh, oh. That has melted my brain and I've died. Uh -huh. Um, have I started playing Doom by accident? This is freaky. I like the things, though. These are cool. <gasps> Why can't I move? Oh! Uh, help! 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 I'm stuck in a trap! I'm stuck in a trap. I'm stuck in. Ooh. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, oh, I'm back here. Uh, I appear to be going very slowly now. Like, very, very slowly. Emotional spot chop chop. <laughs> Didn't know you knew my nickname in high school. Uh, what? Oh, it's just, it's fine. It's just trees. It's fine. Don't, just close the doors. <laughs> oh, this has gone very rusty and very unstable. What the fuck is this? Oh, oh, it's me. 
It me! It said at the beginning you are suspended from a ceiling watching tapes. Hi. Hello, me. Uh, that's cool. Look, I can see myself watching myself, watching myself, watching myself. <laughs> the contents of these tapes are very familiar. They remind you of a place similar to this one. But how do you expect to return? You watch them over and over again. The friction between the VCR head and the tape wears out the plastic. They grow brittle and eventually break. All that's left are distant memories. Created by Mike Kublica. Fantastic stuff. That was really good. Oh, I really enjoyed that. That was really, really good. So yeah, I've I've genuinely really enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed it half as much on YouTube. Um, this is a game called Unsorted VHS by Mike Klubnika. At the moment, most commonly famous because he made Bookshot Roulette, which is taking the horror genre and the Twitch stream uh, genre by storm. And this is some of his other works. So I went onto his HIO page, had a quick look. I'll have all the links in the description of the videos that are going up soon. And yeah, check them out. They're really good. This is one of the only other ones other than Bookshot Roulette that is paid for. I think it's like $2.00. Well worth it. If you're a fan of indie horror, this is really, really good. Especially leading up to this, we've seen um, prog him progressively get better and better at video game design. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I've enjoyed making it. If you want to if you want to help the channel out, you know exactly how to do that. Um, there are special buttons for that, and I'm not going to tell you how. Otherwise. If you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over on twitch.tv forward slash wholesome horror gaming every Tuesday and Thursday. My name is Mike, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much, everyone.